one, two, three, four. Hello, my name is Ali and welcome to my channel. For today's video I'll be talking about some K-pop predictions about how the styling is going to go for the year 2023. You can find tons and tons of videos on YouTube about 2023 fashion predictions, and 2023 K-pop predictions. But I've never seen anyone do 2023 K-pop fashion predictions, so I said why not do it myself. The predictions I'm going to be talking about are mainly focused on comeback and performance outfits, meant for a specific release. Not really idols day-to-day -day wear, so please keep that in mind. This is also the last video in my K-pop rap series. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you haven't watched the other videos, you can do so on my channel. Disclaimer. I am a fashion enthusiast and I studied fashion design in university, however, fashion is subjective. What I might think it's pretty, someone else might hate it, and it's completely okay. This isn't meant to be taken too seriously and I'm only doing it for fun. I'm not a cool hunter, nor dedicate my personal life to research upcoming trends. This is just based on what the real professionals say is going to be trending in 2023 plus my overall knowledge in fashion. You can totally disagree with me, and if you have your own predictions about what's going to be trending, then let me know. But as always, remember to be respectful. But without further ado, let's get into the video. The third generation of K-pop popularized idols changing hair colors for every comeback. Fantasy and vibrant colors were all the rage, and it was even a running joke that some idols were going bald because of the hair dye and bleaching they constantly did. However, I can see the opposite being popular in 2023. You can't deny that new jeans took over the latter half of 2022, and even though they are a rookie group, they are already trendsetters. When the girls debuted, tons of netizens complimented the fact that all of the girls had neutral, natural-looking hair colors. People loved the youthful touch it gave them. The girls have actually dyed their hair in some fantasy colors between comebacks, but when it comes to their releases they mostly keep it neutral. Other rookie girl groups like Les, Seraphim, Nmix, and Ive have also kept mostly neutral hair colors, with the boldest color being bleached blonde and red. I can also see this applying to boy groups, but maybe not to the same extent. The 2000s trend has been here for a while, and I don't see it going anywhere. This year we saw mostly Y2K elements, which actually Y2K just means the year 2000 instead of the whole decade. So I think that in 2023 we will see inspiration drawn from different years of the 2000s decade. I think it would be really cool if we saw more boy groups and male idols taking inspiration from the 2000s fashion. It really hasn't changed that much since then to now, but there are some elements that are really nice, and would make total sense in some concepts. I'll elaborate further in the video about some specific 2000s trends that I think we are going to see in the year. <laughs> In line with the last prediction I mentioned, I see the fur trend being everywhere. In 2022 we saw it here and there in some instances, mostly in the latter half of the year, but I think this is only going to grow in popularity. Some of the most popular girl groups in the industry have worn it, like Blackpink wore this trend in their shutdown MV, and they are considered massive trendsetters, so I can only see the trend growing in K-pop even more. I've said in some of my previous videos, the Ice Princess aesthetic is currently trending a lot, so fur accessories are everywhere, mostly in white and beige tones. But for 2022 I think we'll see fur in more chic ways, not necessarily tied with the Ice Princess aesthetic. I also think we'll see them in multiple colors, especially vibrant shades, and not only in accessories but also in clothing pieces too. This is a trend that you can dress up, or dress down. You can have it in pastel shades, or darker shades. It's very versatile so I can see it showing up in multiple different type of concepts. I don't think this is a trend that will be around the whole year, but mostly in the first quarter of 2023. La Seraphim's debut with Fearless was very impactful, but the styling for the era followed a different route than most K-pop girl groups do. The concept for their debut was high fashion, editorial magazine shoot, so the clothing pieces the girls wore were mostly elegant mini dresses, lots of headbands, and neutral colors. Kind of Blair Waldorf's wardrobe in Gossip Girl in season 1. Of course there were some exceptions here and there, but the core aesthetic moss minimalistic and straight to the point. Thanks to that, I can totally see girl groups following that same route of styling. Especially if the comeback's title track is also simple like Fearless was. 
I think the styling teams would go for more neutral or muted shades like black, white, silver, gray, pastel pinks and pastel blues. Straight silhouettes without much volume. And this prediction would also go hand in hand with the neutral hair color one, because it wouldn't make sense to have minimalistic styling while one member has bright ass orange hair. If you were on TikTok, you might have seen a lot of people that went viral for their maximalist style of dressing. And although this prediction goes completely against the previous one, I can also see some groups going for this route instead. In the past, we've had some few quirky, almost weird concepts, like some Zalabim by Red Velvet and Orange Caramel's most releases. So it would make complete sense if we saw some of this concepts in 2023 that leaned a lot more into the maximalist type of clothing. Of course the staples of this trend are bright colors, loud prints, even print on print, tons of layers, and unique silhouettes. I also don't think that the stylists would go too overboard, since it might be really difficult and uncomfortable for the idols to perform, so I instead can see them do a more casual and simpler, but yet still maximalist styling. The 2000s pop rock and pop punk sound was a big trend in 2022, not only in K-pop but also in the West with artists like Avril Lavigne and Paramore releasing music after Salong. So it's only a matter of time before it becomes a huge trend in K-pop, and I'm my guess is right, then 2023 is the year for it. Some artists like Billy, TXT, Vernon, G-Idol, and Woots proved that these sounds have a space within K-pop with their releases being really successful, so I can see more and more groups and soloists wanting to recreate the same success by having their own take in the genres. The styling would mostly follow a 2000s grunge aesthetic, with maybe some hints of 2010s and 90s fashion. Lots of dark colors, leather pieces, low-waisted elements, plaid prints, layering, and fishnets. I think it would be amazing if within this trend idols could explore more of an androgynous look. Blur the lines of gender with female idols wearing more, quote-unquote, masculine pieces, and male idols wearing more, quote-unquote, feminine pieces. Also, in late 2022 the Netflix's show Wednesday was released and took the media by storm, with many people recreating her gorgeous black dress. So I can also see a lot of the gothic aesthetic bleeding a bit into K-pop's fashion in 2023. The cowboy aesthetic has been around for some while, with some people wearing different type of cowboy boots, cowboy hats, and even assless chaps. Last year in K-pop we had releases like That That by Psy, and Hot by Seventeen that leaned heavily into this type of styling. Psy can only see this growing in popularity among K-pop groups and soloists. The main pieces of this trend are basic and standard, but in the recent years we've seen them in different colors, with different types of prints, with rhinestones, with embroidery, and many more things. So basically, the possibilities of styling this trend in multiple ways are endless. You can really do a lot with it. This is also a really nice way to spice some boring boy group's outfits, so I really hope we see more of it since it's amazing. This type of styling is perfect for the summer season, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a lot of it in the warmer months. But I also see the stylists adding some cowboy-inspired pieces here and there, than rather having a whole eras being cowboy-themed. This is more of me manifesting it into existence than this actually happening. We haven't seen any clues or inclining about the 60s decade becoming a popular era of inspiration for K-pop styling. But in 2022's pop culture we had movies like Last Night in Soho, Don't Worry Darling, and Elvis, which were extremely popular and were set during the late 1950s and early 1960s, so it wouldn't be totally far-fetched if we saw some fashion elements in 2023 pop-up. It would be so good if we saw some of 1960s mod style elements, like the patent boots, the aligned silhouette dresses, and the vibrant colors. I don't have much to say about this prediction, since it's more me being hopeful, so let's just move into the last, but not least, prediction. This is a trend that most people expect to be extremely popular generally in 2023, however I can totally see it in future K-pop releases. In 2022 we already got releases like Beautiful Monster by Stacey, which leaned heavily into this specific aesthetic. 
We also saw tons of other groups and soloist wear crochet pieces, and I just think that in 2023 we'll see a lot more of that in a bigger scale. We've actually seen this type of styling in prior years, but only in a matter of specific releases. However, in 2023 I can see how it could become a more mainstream trend for any type of release. There are also many things the stylists could do with this trend, they can lean in more of a 2000s boho chic vibe, or go full 1970s bohemian. I can specially see girl groups, and hopefully even boy groups, wear this type of styling in the summer season. The boho movement take inspiration from various indigenous, black, Latino and Asian cultures, so I just really hope that if this becomes a popular trend in K-pop there isn't any cultural appropriation, and everything can be done in a respectful way. That was everything for the video. Let me know if you agree with any of my predictions, or if you have your own. I'm also really curious if you have a specific style or clothing piece that you hate and would love to see disappear in 2023. Mine are these types of pants, I hate them with all my heart, and unfortunately I don't see them disappearing anytime soon. If you want to see more of me, I usually do K-pop fashion related videos, with some other stuff here and there, so you can subscribe if you want to. This was the last installment in my K-pop rap series, but don't worry, I have some more fun videos prepared. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Thanks for watching. Bye.